Brian Sensei here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly design a certificate of completion to give out to your students using a free tool called Canva. Let's dig in. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is open up my favorite web browser and head on over to canva.com. You'll find a link in the description below. All right, I am already logged in. If you do not have a Canva account, simply click sign up. It is free to join. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is search for a certificate template. I'm going to go over here to templates on the left. Then I can search at the very top certificate. All right, and you'll see all of these certificate templates that you can choose from and start designing. Now, in this case, I am going to create a certificate for students who've graduated my School of Rock. Therefore, I'm going to type in certificate for music. All right, so check this out. We now have music themed or music related certificates. So I can browse through these. I think I like this one up here at the top. It's pretty simple, also kind of festive looking. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this. Now over here at the bottom right, you're going to see customize this template. I'll go ahead and click here. What this does is it makes a copy of the certificate for me so I can now edit it freely. All right, so first thing I want to call out is that you can change the graphics on this template. You can see here, you can click on them and you can also move them around, but you can also delete them and add different images or clip art to your certificate. Now, in this case, I run a school of rock. So I want some rock and roll instruments on here. I'm going to go ahead and delete this instrument here. And then off to the left, I'm going to click on elements. Notice here they're already suggesting music related elements. But up here I can search. Let's see, I'm going to go ahead and look for a synthesizer. Boom, look at that. Some nice synthesizer graphics. I can click see all. And I have a lot more to choose from here. I'm gonna go ahead and use something that's similar to the existing graphics on the template. This looks good right here. I'll go ahead and click on it. And it adds it to my certificate, but I can click on it and move it around. I can also resize it by clicking, holding, and dragging in the corner. And boom, shaka laka. I've got a nice updated certificate with my own custom touch on it. Down here at the bottom left, I'm gonna go ahead and change this graphic as well. Let's go ahead and use an electric guitar. Oh, look at this, magic recommendations, see all. Nice, a lot of cool things here to choose from. I'm gonna go ahead and use this electric guitar right here. Drop it on the slide. Move it down here, size it down a bit. All right, that's looking really good. Now, if I wanted to, I could also change the text and even the font type and style. I'm gonna go ahead and rename this. All right, and up here at the top, I can size down the font. Let me go ahead and select the entire thing there. I can now size it down so it fits better on the page. And I can move it around easily, drag and drop. All right, and this, this one's good. This certificate is awarded too. Just move it down a little. Now, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to be printing these for multiple students, and I'll be using Mail Merge and Word to do that. So I'm gonna leave the student name off of this. I'm just gonna go ahead and delete it and the names will be mail merged in later. Okay, down here we have names of the administrators or instructors. I can go ahead and retype these. In this case, I'm going to add the title. I'll update this one as well. All right, I could either sign the signatures later on in Microsoft Word. In this case, I'm gonna go ahead and place a text box and use a font that looks like a signature. I'll go over here to text over at the left and I'll click add a text box. All right, and I'll move this down 
here where it needs to be, make it a little bit larger. And here I can change the font type. So let's look for something that looks like a signature. Oh look, here we have handwriting style fonts. Let's check these out. All right, this one looks good. I'll go ahead and select this. And there we go, that looks pretty nice. I'm gonna make it a little bit larger and I'll move it up a little bit. Okay, that's looking good. For the instructor, I'm gonna go ahead and do a copy and paste. Copy and paste. So now I have a second duplicate of that with the same font style and size. And here I'm just gonna change the name of the instructor. And I will come over here and find another font type that's a little bit different. Let's go with this one. That looks nice. All right, I'm feeling good about this certificate. The last thing I wanna do is put some of the School of Rock branding on the certificate. So I'm gonna go over here to Uploads. All right, so here is where you can upload your own custom images, videos, and audio recordings to use in your projects. You can see here I've uploaded three different images. I think I'm gonna go ahead and replace the trumpet here with my sax player. So I'll put him in there, go ahead and size him down a little bit, move him over here to the corner. Now, the other thing is, I kind of don't like the way he's facing, that he's facing to the right. So what I'm going to do is make sure the image is selected, and then I'm going to go up here to flip. I can either flip horizontal or vertical. I'll go ahead and flip horizontal, and there we go. I like how that looks. And you know what? Maybe we can put this other one at the bottom left. I think I'll go ahead and change out this guitar here and add my guitar player. That looks nice. Okay, so the last thing I wanna do is add the name of the school. I'm gonna go back over here to text box and I'm going to add a heading. All right, that's a little bit large, so I'm going to size it down a bit and I will move it up here to the top all right, that's looking really nice. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and download this to my computer so that I can use it in Microsoft Word to do a mail merge and customize each certificate for each student. I'll go over here to share, and then I'll click download. Here, I'm gonna leave the file type as the PNG. I do wanna call out here though, if you're ready to print out your certificate now with the student's name on it, you can go here to PDF print or download it as a PDF and then print it out. You have those options. All right, and then I'm gonna click download. All right, so it stored it in my downloads folder. Let's go ahead and open that up. Here it is. And boom shakalaka, I now have this beautifully designed certificate that only took me a few minutes to create. Make sure you check out my video on how to use Microsoft Word to mail merge your certificates. I'll link it in the description below. If you liked this video, consider subscribing and give it a like. You can also send in tutorial requests in the link in the description.